Hi there and welcome back to Big Fish Little Fish Aquatic. So today I'm going to give you an update on my clownfish aquarium. I'm going to give you a bit of an insight as to what's been going on since we last looked at, looked at the tank and also tell you what I'm planning to do with this aquarium in the future. So let's do this. So here are the two clownfish, both are doing really well. We still have um, the female being a bit larger and then the male here. Um, they have completely lost all orange on them now so these uh, were <laughs> were black eye snowflake clownfish um, however they now have gone fully black snowflake clownfish um, they've both settled in really well they've been in here now for almost almost a year they're the only only fish in this aquarium and um, they seem to have taken a liking to digging back down here. I don't know whether that means that they're going to start um, laying eggs or whether it's just a bit of a pastime for them. Um, but yeah, that's that's how they're doing here. They still get fed once a day. Uh, they'll get their Vitalis platinum marine pellets um, just as much as they can eat within 30 seconds. Only put in as much food that they'll eat themselves and never let any sink to the bottom. And then once once a week they'll get um, some mice or shrimp as well to help with that protein. And then once a month I'll give them a bit of seaweed on a clip. But um, yeah, they seem to be thriving, doing really well. They've put on a lot of weight since I've bought them. And um, yeah, they really seem to have settled in. The temperature is at 24.5 degrees. It's what I've been keeping the water at for the entire time. And I've currently got the filter turned off at the moment because it can be quite can be quite loud when recording so it, it does look like it's quite still at the moment but normally there's a bit of a wave effect going on at the top and um, yeah the protein skim is off as well the only thing running at the moment is their wave maker which I need to redirect actually because it seems to have started to cause a little pit down the bottom there a good thing about uh, what's happened since uh, the last update on this aquarium is if you notice on this live rock here um, there's some pink and reddish algae and this is called coralline algae and it's it's a it's actually quite beneficial for your aquarium so normally when you picture a marine aquarium you imagine all these purple rocks with coral on them and essentially what gives those rocks that purple color is this algae uh, there's lots of different types of it but it's, it's uh, there's lots of different ones and um, the good thing about coralline algae is it actually outcompetes uh, other nuisance algae such as hair algae or green algae so um, in a well-maintained aquarium this this particular algae should should stop essentially all these other nuisance algae um, from stealing the show uh, the only downside is it's very slow growing very slow growing so if you look back to my previous video you'll notice that the rocks only had little bits of pink on it and this is now starting to spread quite a bit on this particular rock you can see on this rock here there's a little bit of purple and red building up and also on this rock here just a tiny little bit um, but it's a good sign of the aquarium maturing and uh, over time hopefully all of these rocks will go completely pink or purple turbo snails are doing really well i've got two of them in here they're the sole cleanup crew um, i don't think i need anything else in here in all fairness not really much gets to the bottom of the tank as i only feed the clownfish what they're able to eat um, so if anything gets to the bottom i actually stop feeding them uh, so they'll probably get a few scraps here and there but they're doing really well they just eat bits of the algae which i fail to get off of the glass and whatnot um, and any detritus which builds up um, so yeah, they're doing really good there. And the funny thing about these, and I, I, I'm starting to watch them because I'm starting to suspect that they're, they've got a little game going on with me. It's one one day a week, and it seems to be a Sunday. They uh, there seems to be one which always ends up right at the back there, just on its back. Um, the big problem with these types of snails is if they haven't got a bit of rock near where they fall over or potentially fall on their back to grab onto, they get stuck and they'll flip themselves around for ages it, it's uh, quite an odd odd thing to watch I'm, I'm, if i've got some footage i'll share share some with you and um yeah and i what i have to do is actually have to get the stick 
and uh, my my stick, my net, and I uh, pop it into the aquarium and nudge them over, and they can carry on again. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be a week later, and I'll pop come back in, and they've fallen off again. So I don't know what that is, <laughs> why they're doing that, but yeah, that's what's going on with these guys. Um, you can't really see its head at the moment. It looks like it's just burrowing in the sand, but yeah, it's all all going well. So the salinity of the aquarium is still at one point zero two five. Um, that's what I want to keep it at. It's, it's, it's what's best for these species of clownfish. And um, in the future, I'm hoping to get some corals. I mentioned in my previous video that I was hoping to get some corals. Um, I think I've narrowed down to what species I want to get. Um, but before I can tackle tackle the corals and add them into my aquarium, I've actually got a nuisance appear over the time I've had this live rock in the aquarium. And I'll quickly just show this to you now. So if we come around here. It might be quite hard to see. I'll see if I'm going to zoom in, and if I can, I'll get my other camera out. But if you can just see there, that's uh, Aptasia, and it's a type of an anemone, an um, and it's it's not dangerous to my fish. Um, it's it's relatively small for an anemone, but uh, what it does do is it will sting corals, and it stops the corals then from opening up and, and stops them from feeding. So it's actually uh, a bit of a pest to have in your aquarium if you if you're wanting to have a reef aquarium. So over the next few weeks before I get some corals I'm going to try and tackle to get that out of this aquarium and um, I'm, going to try a f I'm going to try a few things so if, if that's something you're interested in to see how I do that um, then keep a lookout for videos coming out in the future because I'll be doing that over the next few weeks um, yes so that's that's built up there. there's a slight little colony there this stuff can breed asexually so it can actually breed without others in the aquarium so it's, it's a bit of a nuisance and you just need to try and get it all out and you can see there's quite a few there building up in a little colony um, so I'll be getting rid of those and once I've done that I'll then hopefully start to get some corals on these live rocks probably re probably rejig the live rock around a bit make a bit of space more for the clownfish um, in open swimming space and have these rocks more on top of each other and get some nice corals in there. If you have any ideas on corals which you think would look nice in here of these clownfish, with these black and white, um, any corals which might which might suit them, then please give me a shout or leave a comment down in the uh, comments below. I'll always get back to everyone. Um, it's always good to hear everyone's thoughts. Um, yeah, so that's that's the aquarium at the moment. So not 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 too much going on. Obviously, it's only two fish in here, but. Um, hopefully over the next few weeks we start getting some corals in there and uh, we'll see how how they how they change the dynamic of the aquarium itself bring a bit more color to the aquarium um, and uh, yeah go from there so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed it um, if you did don't forget to give me a like uh, subscribe if you not haven't done already and I'll see you in the next one